Hello everybody, JFM Studios here to give you another character description video. This time it's of Taylor Tanner, the second half of the main protagonist in my comic, Jeff and Taylor. And one of the most beloved characters in the whole entire series. I mean, for real, people love him so much, and I can't blame him, he is a good guy. Go to it, champ. Very sweet, very true to himself. So, yeah, and I am excited to uh, be continuing on this series, you know? The character description videos, they're so much fun. They're fun to make, except they are very tedious, you know? They're tedious. I gotta be honest with you, but, you know, I have found inspiration in this moment. And I'm gonna keep continuing. Go ahead, girl. And I know, so some of y'all have been uh, asking for more character description videos, so... And I've been um, putting it off, putting it off, but right now, it's it's time. That's why I decided to, you know, do a hard start, or a hard restart on this. And it's gonna be amazing. I mean, you've already seen last, uh, last, uh, the, the last one. Shut up! So let's learn about good boy Taylor Tanner. Taylor is Jeff's best friend and next door neighbor. They met in kindergarten, but we've already heard that story in Jeff's video. Taylor lives in a house full of jocks and sports fanatics. Taylor's mom works as a personal trainer at Mr. Bo's kick-ass gym, and she's very finicky on what her kids eat. So Taylor is forced to eat healthy food at his house, and while it's good for him, it doesn't taste very good. He has two older twin brothers, Tim and Tom, who are in high school and are in the wrestling team, both of them. They'd give Taylor a hard time by practicing their body slams on him. And lastly, there's Tanya, Taylor's younger sister, and uh, practices gymnastics and plays soccer. That's right, a family full of athletes except for poor Taylor. <laughs> I love this guy. Yeah. While his siblings aspire to become sports stars, Taylor has no idea what he wants to do. He has no talents, gets average to below average grades in school, and has low stamina. For real, an obese eight-year-old can beat him in a 50 deter mash. 50 deter mash? Did I say that? No. <laughs> Stop laughing. I meant to say 50 meter dash. Yeah, a fat kid can beat him in a race. But he only seems to find the energy to, to run if he's being uh, chased by a bully, a gang member, or a hideous monster. Rough talk him and run him off. I've explained that Jeff is the realistic and cynical one, and that Taylor here is the naive one. It's not that Jeff is smart and Taylor's dumb, no. They're both smart in their own ways. Taylor may be clumsy, curious, innocent, ignorant, and rambunctious, but he's not stupid or brain dead. What a concept! Taylor believes in the supernatural and never wants to disturb or anger an evil spirit, monster, or watch a cursed video. All in all, Taylor is a sweet boy that any parent would love. He's polite and loves his family and is not afraid to hug his mom in public. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Whatever. So what are his likes and dislikes? Well, his likes, he loves video games. Like any teenage boy, he likes to spend his time playing video games. Come on, come on. I love video games myself. Except I don't uh, play them play as much these days is because I am drawing most of the time, you know, doing my work. But uh, but yeah, his favorite type of games is just fighting games, you know. His mom tells him he's not allowed to play rated M games, so you know it's uh it's kind of hard on him. But he does, even though he doesn't like uh, to play actual sports, he does play uh, sports games too. I mean, his brothers. Uh, they have all these basketball and football games like Madden, um, NBA, you know, 2K14, uh, you know, those games. You know, Taylor can, can play them too, but he doesn't, you know, play them. He doesn't like to play real sports, but he prefers fighting games and action games, as long as they're rated T, you know. I like it a lot. Action movies. He loves action movies, kung fu movies. Uh, movies with explosions, aliens, all that jazz. His favorite action movie star is Bruno Hoo-Ha, who is um, a parody of 
uh, Bruno from Pokemon. Yes, that guy. Uh, I named him Bruno Hoo-Ha here. And he is an action star, just like Jackie Chan or Bruce Lee. Yeah, Taylor admires him. He also admires Katie Knight. Katie Knight is a pop star, a pop star in, um, in this universe. She is the Katy Perry of Jeff and Taylor's universe. Yep. And she is very uh, colorful, I should say. She adds a lot of sexual stuff to her music. But it goes right over Taylor's head because he's an innocent guy, you know? Oh, damn. He loves to watch boxing. That's probably the only sport he likes to watch. And I agree, boxing is a very cool sport. Although they're canceling right now due to the stupid, you know what, stupid you know what virus. Ugh. Folks of the future, look at the date this this uh, video is released, and you'll know. You'll understand why. I can't watch boxing now. It's all postponed. I'm pretty sure if, if Taylor was here, he would say the same. You know, postponed boxing is oh terrible. And he loves hamsters. Wow. <laughs> if he were to have a pet, he would choose a hamster because they're so cute and. Taylor loves tiny cute things, I don't know. Hamsters, baby birds, they're all cool to him. The only bird he doesn't like is ducks. Yeah, I'm going to his dislikes right now. He hates ducks. I mean, I don't think he, he doesn't hate them, hate them. He is afraid of them. He had a very bad experience when he was a kid, you know, being chased by a gang of ducks. And they were, you know, trying to peck at him. There, there, there were ducks, geese, swans, even a peacock is there. Hush phone. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> ducks, he hates them. Very scared of them. He doesn't like gym class because he's not he's not athletic, you know? Mr. Wade tells him to run. He doesn't want to. And Mr. Wade punishes him by throwing some dodgeballs at his face. So he has to run, you know? Maybe if Mr. Wade gets a monster in there, like the G-Station or something, then yeah, Taylor would run. Onions, he doesn't like onions, he hates the taste of onions and, and the aftertaste, you know? He doesn't like that bad breath, you know, smell, you know? He always says that onions smell like uh, a body odor. Who said that? And it, it's, yeah, it's kind of weird. He says that onions, it, it's like I'm, I'm, I'm licking sweat off of a guy's armpit. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he, yeah, he doesn't like onions. He's also afraid of ninjas. He can watch ninja movies, but he treats them like, like, like a, like a horror movie. You know, it's like he's afraid of ninjas, and it's apparent in episode 12 when Rizo um, confessed that he was a ninja. Taylor was scared of him. But, you know, he started to ease up on Rizo and started to get used to him. Rizo does scare him from time to time, but, you know, Taylor is trying to, you know, uh, get over his fear of ninjas. And mushrooms. Taylor hates mushrooms. Unlike onions, he hates mushrooms because of the texture. And, yeah, mushrooms are terrible. I don't know. No way. <laughs> no way. What is this garbage? So I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, Taylor is uh, a very fun character. Uh, I think he balances he balances out Jeff a lot. And he is a, a good guy. Gets along with the girls, you know. Um, he's definitely not the pervert type. Um, it's like the West End girls, you know. When he meets them, he doesn't really notice the... Their, their breast sizes, you know? Six? What are you talking about? He's that kind of guy. And um, when I did create him, you know, the, his personality, uh, I did put a little bit of myself in there. Um, like, like, Taylor is the type of guy who gives everybody a fair shot, even if they're evil or, or bad. It's like, I don't know, he's, a, he's an empath. I, yeah, he's a very empathetic guy. Uh, guy, even towards the, the the villains. I don't know. It's like if he sees a a, a bully just just sitting and, and crying for for some reason, he just he, he wants to help him. You know, 
That's why he's so good. He's very good. Alright guys, so that is it. Uh, next character description video will be of Cindy. So, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you um, got to know more of Jeff, uh, of Jeff's best friend, Taylor. And go visit JeffandTaylorComic.com. That's JeffandTaylorComic.com. There is new quickies out. So, so yeah, I'm excited to show those off. And I hope you uh, watch. Alright guys, I'll see you later. Jeff, I'm out. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.